Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install an NVMe drive. And for this example, I will be installing the 970 EVO Plus. It is really easy. As you can see here, these NVMe M.2 drives are literally the size of a stick of gum, and there are a few cool benefits. The first benefit, if you're building your own PC, are no SATA cables. Going from the hard drive to the motherboard, and also what we're not seeing here is the actual SATA power connectors from the power supply to the hard drives. But the best benefit of having an NVMe is to have it for your boot drive. Install Windows 10 on this M.2. Let's go ahead and install this bad boy. First off, you'll need to locate the M.2 slot on your motherboard. Please consult your user's manual, but mine is right there and you can see it. It even says Ultra M.2. The second thing you'll need to do, if it's not already installed, you'll need to install the standoff, which is located right here. If you bought a brand new motherboard, this should be in your supply pack. If not, you may have to order one. Once you've installed that standoff, you just want to grab your NVMe drive. And you want to go in at an angle. I believe it's anywhere between 30 and 45 degrees, but we're just going to do layman terms, come in at a little angle. You want to insert it into that slot right there. And there will be a little bit of friction from the connectors. Now, once you have it installed, it's not going to lay flat onto the standoff, but that's normal. All right, the next thing you'll need to do is locate the M.2 screw. If you bought a brand new motherboard, it should be in there in a small plastic bag. And if you don't have a new motherboard, you will have to order one. It is a very small screw, so be careful not to lose it. Now you can probably get away just using a regular old screwdriver, but for me, it helps to have a magnetic screwdriver that's a little bit smaller because this M.2 screw is very, very small. Next step, I'm going to go ahead and press down on the NVMe drive and I'm going to carefully insert the screw and then very gently I'm going to screw it in and it's not going to take that much to do so. A few turns, make sure it's snug but do not over tighten. And just like that, our NVMe drive is installed. Now, my motherboard does not come with a heat sink that goes on top. So if yours does, make sure to pull off the plastic from that heat sink that covers this M.2 drive so that the heat will dissipate when it gets warm. 